Here are two examples of the, what I call a scratch stock. Uh, Roy Underhill is the one that I learned this from. I made these out of maple. Looks like one of them's got a date of July the 5th, 2011 on it. But uh, they're basically made, they got a little split in them and some screws and a piece of metal. That metal is a little bit thicker than uh, uh, a single edge razor blade. And they're adjustable. You can adjust them. You got that corner there. And you can adjust to leave whatever you want to sticking out. They work pretty well. We've got to recut this groove for some binding. So I'm using a little uh, scratch stock. Thought I'd show how this works. It's not a complicated matter. It's a homemade tool. It's not as fast as a, a router. But this wood in this neck is so curly and so prone to tearing out that I felt like this would be a the best way to do it. Seems to be working pretty well too. This is about a sixty thousandths of an inch thick binding, a little wide, but it's going to fit in there pretty well, I believe. 